Hey there guys, TC made with TC Gaming. Wanted to do a quick follow-up video to a video I recently posted regarding a blender plugin for Mixamo Root Baker to uh, add the uh, bone mapping for root bone animations. And uh, in that video, I had some settings here that I didn't realize needed to be changed. It was causing a little bit of twisting and distortion to my animations. So I just wanted to give you an update real quick. If you shut off this transfer rotation and the supply rotation, um, basically that will correct most of it and the only thing I changed is I put on this use Unreal Engine bone names and added the name hips and then also uh, basically took off all the other things and hit batch convert and then what I noticed is when I brought these animations in I was experiencing this little issue here I'll show you so if I bring this in and I don't change anything I just say uh, I don't want to import the mesh again but I want to add it to that Ybot skeleton uh, if I say import all, what happens is you can see that I can enable root motion and it'll freeze the character so he's actually running in place, which is what we want because then we can control the uh, motion with our capsule. But what you're seeing there in the background is this one little frame where he goes from a T pose into whatever his animation is. And so this is happening on all the ones that were converted with that file. So real quick, what you can do to fix this is if you just slide this, I basically pause the uh, the timeline here on the animation, scroll this a little bit in between 1 and 2, right-click on it and say remove frame 0 to frame 1, and then hit save, and then hit play. And you should see that that cleans up most of these animations. Real easy fix for it, but I don't know what's causing it. If I come up with anything, I'll, I'll get back on here and uh, try and do another follow-up. But the other thing is, once you have this uh, set the way you want to, like enable root motion and clean that frame up, and uh, if you followed the other video in the skeleton, you would go in here and just flip on your humanoid rig. Preview mesh is saved. You go over to your mannequin, to the character. Oh, where are we at? Mannequin, mesh... And you just want to make sure that he's got on a humanoid rig also. And then in the pose, you would go in and adjust his arms. I usually go up about 50, back about 20, and down 10 on these arm uh, portions here. And then you just go modify pose, use current pose. And that locks that in. What that will allow you to do then is, once again, to take these animations, you can say retarget anim asset and duplicate. And you'll be able to pick your mannequin skeleton. Again, I normally put an MX underscore as a prefix, and I changed my location to be the Mannequin Animation Mixamo folder, which we created in a previous video. Again, if this is not the tutorial. This is kind of the follow-up and the correction to that. So please go back and watch the original, and then this one will help clarify some things. So then we can go in here and say OK and retarget. Now if I put this on here... He's already got the enable root motion on there and running backwards. And again, if you, uh, if I turn this sideways for you, you should be able to see he's running in place. If I were to shut that off, he'll be running back. Okay. So that's a, just, again, a quick follow-up, and hopefully that makes sense. Um, if not, please feel free to leave some comments, questions, whatever, and I'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a great night, and I'll catch you in a future tutorial video.